Train your English voice with relative clauses. Relative clauses are clauses that help identify someone or something or give you extra information. Depending on the sentence, the relative clause can be between commas or not. To give extra information in a sentence, we use who or whose for people, which or where for things, and that can replace who or which. The relative clause not in commas is used to identify someone or something. The relative clause used between commas is used if we have already identified the person or thing and we are just giving more information. Let's look at some example sentences. The man who started work yesterday is very tall. We see there are no commas in the sentence. And the man is identified as the one who started work yesterday. My brother, who started work yesterday, is very tall. We see the commas in the sentence. My brother is already identified. And extra information is given between commas. Do you know Fred, who or that lived in France for a year? We see there are no commas in the sentence and Fred is identified as the person who lived in France for a year. Let's look at some more example sentences. My English teacher who came to China in 2017 loves to eat noodles. We see there are commas in the sentence. My English teacher is already identified so extra information is given between commas. Our second example. Can I have the notebook which I gave you this morning? We see there are no commas in the sentence and the notebook is identified as the one I gave you this morning. Remember that can be used to replace who or which. My English teacher that came to China in 2017 loves to eat noodles. And can I have the notebook that I gave you this morning?